know, so many times I'm with people and they say, Freddie, why don't you, you know, break loose once in a while, have something to eat. And I just avoid that. They don't realize that I, I can't. I would feel so bad so fast, not because I'm weaker, it's because I'm cleaner. Doesn't mean that, you know, you're stronger. If you're cleaner, you might not have physical strength unless you, you, you cre you do, you cre you're creating resistance for the human body. But that, that's what develops you. That's how you develop, you know, elevated consciousness and spiritual consciousness. You, but one of the, there's a lot of people in, in churches today, if you tell them that you could actually develop a more, get a, a more of a godly relationship by eating cleaner, they think that's blasphemy. It's, it's not. It's a reality. Just think about it. That's the way we were designed. If you believe in, uh, you know, that we are designed to live a specific way according to natural law, which we are, I mean, if you just look at all the other natural laws, I mean, you're not jumping out of a plane and say, I'm a parakeet and jump out of a plane and think you're going to defy gravity, the gravitational pull of the earth. You know, it's not going to happen. Well, there's more sensitive things taking place in the human body, the way our organs work, the way our brain works. You know, the human body's made up of trillions of cells. Nobody not really knows how many cells, and each cell is made up of trillions of atoms, atoms, and it's an electrical system. And it's the minerals are a language between cells. All, each cell in your body is communicating with other cells. But we are in such a fog. We are so anesthetized. 